Do you see? I don't, but then again, I don't see much. So. Hey, it's Alicia B. B stands for basic, because in this one, we're gonna do a basic ponytail. I got you three different ways to do one of the easiest ponytails of life. If you've been keeping up with the vlog, you know that I got a cut a week ago, and I am still traumatized today. So, instead of complaining, I thought, let's go out and get some hair. Don't worry, they didn't sell it to me like this. I was just so eager to try it that I just took out all the packaging, and I'm like, let me just put it back in the plastic so I can show you how it kind of came. But in this one, I'm gonna show you how to apply and make your hair nice and long, giving inches, you know? So I hope that you guys enjoy this one. If you do, you know what to do. Tap the like, subscribe, and share. Let's get into this. Whether your hair is blow-dried, flat, iron, pressed, or natural, one of these three ways are gonna work for you, so let's get right into it. No, someone's gonna come for me. Your hair's not short, why are you complaining? This is short for me, okay? I know it'll grow back. I'm taking biotin on the daily. So what you're gonna do is, if your hair is flat ironed like mine or blow dried, all you gotta do is put in one. If my hair was in its natural state, a la the last tutorial we did, <laughs> you know that would take a lot more work. But let's just keep this super basic today. So I'm just putting my hair in a low ponytail. Now, here's how to keep it super simple because my hair is thin. It's not as thick as it used to be. It's so crazy. I'm telling you, stress is everything. Okay, what we're gonna do is pick our bundles. It's so random how many things have silica in it. Sometimes when I get shipments in the mail, I'm like, really, did you have to put silica in this? So we got four bundles. There's an 18, two 20s, and a 22. If I were smart, I would have just bought four bundles of 22, but you know, what's done is already done. So what we're gonna do is, what is this? What's going on here? Like, what is this? We're going to pick, which one did I use last time? I think I picked a 20. So we're gonna pick a 20 again and keep it simple. There's like, there's some netting on here. The first time I'm like, why does the hair not feel so soft? Girl, the netting. I'm gonna blame it on my blindness, but really I should have known better. Ooh. There we go. Like so. And then I just put a hair tie over it because I figured that'd be the easiest way to just pull it off. But the other ones, you have to cut the tie off. So all you gotta do is find the end of the track. And I don't know what's going on these days because I haven't bought hair in a minute. I used to make my own clip and hair extensions, but I don't remember them being this thin. What's happening? So you're gonna just take a small piece and you can either A, wrap it around, but I don't think that stays secure, so what I like to do is I'll tuck it in. I tuck it in into the elastic. Hopefully, the camera can pick this up. If not, I'll do a close-up later on. But you just take the her, right her, right her. What it do? That way it stays secure. So I said that the first one is the most lazy and easiest way. <laughs> I wasn't playing, okay? Now all I'm gonna do is wrap this around the base of the ponytail. Literally, that is it. And you might think, oh wait, but what about all the hair? Luckily for me, since my hair has been thinning, which is not a good thing, but works out in this situation, once I put this bundle on, I'm gonna put on the longer bundle, the 22, and it's gonna blend right in. another one so here we go you know me i'm all about security so to make sure that this ponytail i mean ponytail doesn't go away with the wind we're going to take the small piece at the end and wrap it around this also makes sure that no tracks are broken i don't want anyone to clock this Bobby pin. Place. Ay, ay, ay. Is this called a body wave? I don't even know. But this type of curl that's loose enough that can blend in with your hair. I mean, if you want to, you can find a texture that best suits your natural hair to make it as easy as possible. Future A here, different day. I didn't even realize until I checked the footage that I was doing this whole tutorial on the bald side. How come you didn't tell me? I thought we were friends. So I'm only doing the first one out of the three on this side because I have to go out anyway and take a pic. So I might as well do it again 
properly because hey why was i exposing this situation here we're trying to grow that back but until then we're gonna have the bangs on this side let's do a low ponytail i mean might as well give you a different effect we're just gonna do like that it's giving body adi 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 sometimes i look at other people's hair and i'm just like if my hair grew out of my head this way i'd have no cares no worries in the world same as before you're just gonna take this lift pull There's one, on to the next, on, on to the next one. Best that you wrap them the same way, especially if you're doing multiple tracks. So if you pull them out like me, cause I'm lazy, or if you unravel them, they don't get tangled. Pony, wrap around the pony. Up, down, up, down. So your weave don't fall down. That's the new nursery rhyme, I'll be about it every day. Can you tell where my hair ends and this one begins? I don't think so. Oh, oh, okay, let me go take my pick and back to regular schedule programming without the construction noise. Okay, can't even lie, I could use some edge control over here. A little bit too much of my swoop. I've been feeling the swoop, it's giving me a Leah, and I, the side bangs, I wanna bring that back. This is version number one, let's move on to version number two and three. Besides being the easiest out of the three ponytails, the reason why I love that first one so much is because you just gotta pull at the end your hair is attached to your hair band, not your hair. So as long as your hair is soft enough and it won't break when you're pulling it out, you can just take it all out in one go and start again or put it away for another day. But the next two I got for you, you better leave your hair like this for a couple days. I mean, the effort you're putting in for the last one, that one. If your hair is shorter or is a completely different texture than what you're installing, you can't have it mix in with the hair that you're attaching. So you gotta just put it up. Make your bun as tiny as possible. If your hair is thick, thick, thick with two C's, this is not gonna work for you. Skip to version three. But if your hair is short, you can make a small bun or your hair is thin or whatever then you can get away with this. I always think it's so much more secure to take a bit of hair and wrap it underneath the elastic band. But if you're not about that, you can also just do what I did at the end of the last bit, which is wrap it around, ooh, hair in the face. The lazy way of securing your hair. It's the hair in my eyes for me. Why, 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 why can't I just have an easy tutorial? Never, right? Wrap it like a struggle wrapper on SoundCloud. Oof, you heard that crack? Ay, ay, ay. Embarrassing. I'm not mad at it. It took about, what, two, three minutes? This last one is the hardest out of the easiest ones to do. And the reason why it's hard is because you just need to use a few bobby pins. But first, what you gotta do is braid your hair. So I'm just gonna tie my hair up one more again. This is so much easier when my hair is curly because the curls make the braid click. It just sticks together perfectly like Tetris. Whereas when my hair is flat ironed, it wants to act foreign, like it doesn't know what a braid is. Now I'm gonna use a little, oh, I should have gotten a tiny elastic, but I ain't got time for that. So we're just gonna use this big dutty hair tie. Sorry guys, but if you're at home doing this, the smaller the better. You know what, actually I'm gonna grab a small one. Let me not be this way. Small braid elastic. That way it doesn't poke out as much. Not that you're gonna see. In the bottom today, what you're gonna do is wrap around. That rubber band is gonna be your stopper. You're just gonna wrap it around three times. Three times for good luck. You're gonna push it through that rubber band. This is gonna secure it. And you're gonna wrap it up going upwards like a spiral staircase of weave, okay? <laughs> Why am I so extra? Why am I like this? I have to remember that every couple of wraps, I gotta add another bobby pin. 
can't even see these bobby twins. I'm just feeling for them on the table. Let me just pull that up. But the best thing about this one is it's super secure. Like you don't have to worry about a tornado coming around and blowing your hair and exposing your situation or anything. I got a whole box. Let's hope you don't use all of it. To know one thing about me, as much as I love doing hair tutorials and I started my channel doing hair tutorials, I ain't got the patience to do my hair, which is why if you watch the vlogs, my hair is in the same hairstyle nine times out of 10. Because the easier it is, the more I'm able to repeat that, the more natural I feel, even if I'm doing something unnatural. You know what I'm saying? Or is that just a me thing? I, I don't like spending a long time on my hair. The box braids I did last year was the most I would ever do. And that's because the hair lasts for two months. So seven hours for two months of not having to do my hair every day, I'm okay with that. But when people tell me they go to the salon once a week and spend over an hour in there, I just, I don't know how they do it. It's not for me. It's the inches for me. Just secure that last bit and start where you finished off. Imagine if I left my house like this. <laughs> I like to pin it underneath. Not that you'll be able to see, I just prefer it on the underside. So I'm gonna do that. And continue to twist up. got length though so it depends on what you want you could always add a third or fourth bundle if you like it I love it this last way is for those of you who are trying to go out outside if you're trying to flip your hair back and forth like it's yours this one's gonna keep your secret yours I hope that you guys enjoyed this three-way tutorial I figured I'd show you three different ways of doing the same thing depending on your length and your texture so I hope one of these three ways help you secure your ponytail in place I still love the first way you know, I'm lazy with the hairstyle, so what can I say? But if I were gonna go out for a night, like out, I'd probably do it this way, because Lord knows I would forget to take my hair out and it'd be a whole knot the next day. So at least this way keeps my braid protected and also everything is secure. Nobody's gonna know this hair is not yours. Do you see? I don't, but then again, I don't see much, so. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like button, subscribe, and share for more. If you want to see some more on the playlist, you can click over here. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.